Each day, scientists explore the world around us through microscopes. This scientist is using an electron microscope. Microscopes help scientists see and learn about very small things we can't see just with our eyes. Scientists often look at the foods we eat, and sometimes they find bacteria or germs on the foods. Some of these bacteria or germs can be bad and can make us sick. But scientists have learned that we can fight these bad bacteria. You can learn to fight these bad bacteria. You can learn to fight back. Good. Maybe it's the swinging. I don't think so. Oh, yuck! Not there! Hey, did you hear about Mrs. Turkle's class? Almost everybody is home sick, throwing up, spending lots of time in the bathroom. It's disgusting. And they think it's caused by the food they ate on the class picnic. They think something bad got into their food. Yeah, I heard that three kids had to go to the hospital. And if that's not bad enough, I just heard Mrs. Turkle do a Huey Buick in her classroom. What's a Huey Buick? <laughs> that's a Huey Buick. Good morning, smart students. I hope all of you are ready for another great day here at Smart Elementary. Many of you have heard about what's going on in Mrs. Turkle's class. Something happened to the food that was served at their class picnic. It's an unfortunate situation, but we can keep it from happening again. Ms. Schilling's Science Club and Mr. Adams' Drama Club are preparing a play to help us learn how to keep our food safe. Friday afternoon, everyone will meet in the auditorium for the presentation of this wonderful play. See you there. Now have a great day. Now, class, let's take out your homework from last night and check over your spelling words. Oh, you're looking good. Let's remember why we're here. Food safety is a most important topic at Smart Elementary right now. Many of our friends have been sick because some harmful bacteria got into the food they ate at their class picnic. Today, we want to show everyone how harmful bacteria can get into their food and make them sick. And we want to show them how some very simple rules will help them keep bad bacteria from being a problem. Ms. Schilling's right. This could be the most important play you'll ever present. The rules you show your friends today will help them keep their food safe. So let's get out there and give them your best. And you know what else I heard? His name is Back Bacteria. He can attack you in any area. He can't be seen, but he's up in there. He attacks your food and doesn't care. So fight him hard or he'll make you ill. Just clean, separate, cook and chill. Fight back. Bacteria, fight back. Fight back. Act one, if you want to fight back, clean! I wish I were a nicer guy, but I am yucky and here is why. I like to hide on hands and food. I'm germy, green, and very rude. I'm back, bacteria. I'm starving. What do you want on your sandwich? Wait a minute, have you washed your hands? No, no, don't tell her that. If she washes her hands, I'll have to scat. No, that takes too much time. It's okay, I'm starving. And are you sure this table's clean? No, no, not another rule. When she cleans the table, that's really cruel. Stop, my name is Clean. 
Tabitha is right. We've got to fight back. Fight bacteria, that is. You must take time to clean. See, I told you, Janella. But it takes too much time to wash my hands. Always take time to wash your hands, especially after you go to the bathroom. And any time you get ready to touch food, wash them with warm running water and soap. And it doesn't have to take a long time. Wash for as long as it takes to sing happy birthday. That's easy to do. Oh no, oh no, not water and soap. When she uses them, there's not much holes. Happy birthday to you. Be sure happy to wash between your fingers you. and around your happy fingernails. Happy birthday, dear Janella. That's a good girl, Janella. Good hand washing can remove harmful bacteria that might be on your hands and cause you to get sick. Be sure to get them good and soapy and rinse them well. Also, remember to keep tables and counters clean. Wipe them clean before you put food on them and when you finish. Oh no, oh no! Say it isn't so! If you're going to clean, then I've got to go! One other thing before I go. Don't forget to rinse fresh vegetables and fruits with clean running water before you eat them. This too will help wash away harmful bacteria that might be on your food. <laughs> this is fun! Go away, bacteria! Oh no! Oh no! Very good! Just keep things clean and fight back! Oh no! Oh no! Say it isn't so! If you're going to clean, then I've got to go! Clean, separate, cook, and chill, or back will be able to make you ill. Fight back. Bacteria, fight back. Act two. If you want to fight back, separate. Mom sure bought a lot of groceries today. I can't believe she's making us put all of them away. But she said if we hurry, we can go outside and play. Go ahead, my friend. This will be great. From the chicken, I'll cross-contaminate. When the juices drip, I'll be on the move. Then I'll be there in two of your foods. I'm back. Bacteria. Hey, shouldn't that chicken go on a plate or in the meat drawer? We don't want yucky raw chicken juices dripping all over the grapes. It may contain harmful bacteria that can make you sick. We talked about it in our science class. You're right, Antonio. My name is Separate. We've got to fight back, fight bacteria, that is. Hey, yo! When putting foods away, we shouldn't let one food touch or drip on the other. Foods that need cooking, like the chicken, should be separated or kept away from foods that are eaten raw, like those grapes. Juices can drip from meats and can carry bacteria from one food to another. That's called cross-contamination, and that can make you sick. So when putting meats away, place them on a plate on the bottom shelf of the refrigerator or in the meat drawer. And remember to keep the meat drawer clean. Oh, no. Oh, no. Very good. Remember to separate foods and fight back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Say it isn't so. When they start to separate, I've got nowhere to go. Hey, no. Go away, back. Oh, no. Get out of here. Clean, separate, cook, and chill, or back will be able to make you ill. Fight back. Bacteria, fight back. Act three. If you want to fight back, cook. It's going to be a few minutes before these burgers are ready. Okay, Mom, we'll go wash our hands. Yikes, yikes. I hate the heat. As it gets real hot, I leave the meat. She's killing me. I just can't take the heat. Oh, no, there's the phone. These burgers are probably okay. Just a minute, just a minute, I'm coming. Hello, Clarice. It's so good to hear from you. Much more heat, and I'd be dead. But now in this burger, I can really spread. I'm back. Bacteria, I'm back. Hey, Mom's already got the burgers ready. I'm really hungry. Me too. Let's eat. I love juicy hamburgers. Wait, don't eat those burgers. They might look ready to eat, but they aren't. My name is Cook. We've got to fight back. 
fight bacteria, that is. In her rush to answer the telephone, your mother didn't get the burgers done. Harmful bacteria that can make you very sick could still be there. Jenny, I know your mother was in a hurry, but you can't rush cooking. The middle of your hamburger must reach at least 160 degrees Fahrenheit to be safe. Mom, this is Cook, and she just kept us from making a big mistake. One that could make us really sick. Oh my, did I do something wrong? I know you were in a hurry, but the only way to know when a hamburger is done is to use one of these. A food thermometer. Hey, my Bob is one of those. When you're cooking and you think a burger is done, stick the thermometer into the burger all the way to the center. Wait at least 15 seconds so that you can get a true reading. It must read at least 160 degrees Fahrenheit to be safe. Always make sure a grown-up has checked the temperature of the burgers they have cooked for you. Thank you for telling me this. From now on, I'll always use a food thermometer to make sure our foods are done. I want our foods to be safe. Remember, if we just keep the heat on, that will be gone. Oh no, oh no! Say it isn't so! When the thermometer's right, I gotta go! I just can't take the heat! Go away, Mac! Go away! Clean! Separate! Cook and chill! Or Mac will be able to make you ill! Fight back! Bacteria! Fight back! Act 4! If you want to fight back, chill! Wow, that ham and cheese sandwich was really good. The pudding's great, too. It makes me feel like I can hit a home run. Yeah, Raji, and we can always use home runs. Come on, we've got to get going or we'll be late. That's right. That's right. You don't want to be late. Leaving everything out for me is just great. When cold foods get warm, I wake from my nap. I can grow in your food and I'll give you a zap. I'm back. Bacteria. Wait a minute. Shouldn't we put all this stuff away? In science, we learn that bacteria grow as cold foods get warm. If we don't put things back in the refrigerator, the food won't be good anymore. But I don't want to miss any of the game. Hello, my name is Chill, and Joey is right. If cold foods sit out and begin to get warm, harmful bacteria can go wild. They can grow quickly. Cold foods need to be kept cold. Your refrigerator should keep foods at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or colder. Remember to put cold foods away as soon as you can. We've got to fight back. Fight bacteria. Oh no, oh no, say it isn't so. When it gets cold, ooh, I've got to go. Go away, back. so well today. We hope you've learned how important it is for each of us to be very careful in taking care of our food. Making mistakes can cause people to get sick. Everyone who's gotten sick in Mrs. Turkle's class will be okay, but their illnesses could have been prevented. Remember, if you follow these simple rules to clean, separate, cook, and chill foods properly, you can fight bacteria. Fight back! Fight back! Fight back! Fight back! Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back.